Hey guys, it's Sadie here. I'm just going to do a quick Christmas favorites uh, video. Please take time to like this video and subscribe down at the bottom. I'm gonna get started. Um, so I've tried out like a couple different makeup products that I haven't used before this month. Um, so the first one is NYX Highlighting Powder and it's a, it's a mosaic powder. So it has a couple different colors in it there, hope you can see. Um, but I find it's really great color for my skin tone. And I've just been using it like on my cheekbones, down the bridge of the nose, forehead. Um, and I find it lasts a fairly long time. Like I'm a big fan of NYX products. So I like this stuff. Um, another product that I've just, just got. Uh, is Pixi eyeshadow um, and I've never used Pixi before um, I just kind of like happened upon it at Target the other day and I thought hey why not I'm gonna give it a try um, so yeah this is like a kind of a metallic palette I'm wearing this color up here uh, as well as these two in the bottom highly pigmented um, powders they're metallics and I find they last a really long time and they're super super easy to blend together onto some lips this one is really nice. It is a Revlon color. That's what it is there. It's called Creme Brulee. And this is kind of like a, a warm, neutral kind of color. Um, but it's really great. It's got a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's pretty nude. Um, it's not what I have on right now, but I'm liking it. I wear this one almost every day. Continuing with makeup favorites. Um, I love mascara. I really, really love mascara. I bought this NYX one. That is what it looks like there. Doll eye mascara. And this stuff is really great. It has uh, like little hairy fiber things in it. Uh, and that's the shape of the brush. I'm really liking it. I find my mascara doesn't actually flake off as much as the one I was using before I started using this NYX one. Um, so yeah, I'm really liking this one and I'm probably going to buy it again. Last but not least for the makeup products. Um, usually I take my makeup off using Pond's Cold Cream. I found these Olay Fresh Effects Swipe Out wipes and they're just kind of like, uh, like baby wipes. And they come in this little package and that is what they look like there. And I tuck them in my gym bag. It's just easy going to the gym. Like I don't have to actually like wash my face with the ponds when I'm at the gym because it's kind of inconvenient to do that. And it also doesn't make sense to shower like before you do your workout when you're at the gym. It's just a convenient product. On to hair products. Recently I started dyeing my hair. I'm naturally blonde, so this is not my true color. This stuff is Marc Anthony Oil of Morocco infused with argan oil. Um, I got the shampoo and the conditioner, and anyway, I'll show you everything that I got, but it's all the same line. Um, it's also infused with keratin, and this stuff smells freaking amazing. It smells so good, so good. So that's the shampoo there. Uh, the conditioner looks exactly the same, smells the same, super delicious. And I got the hairspray. There's the nozzle there if you're interested in the nozzle. This is a deep hydrating conditioning treatment and this one is also empty. I've been trying to find more and I can't and I'm super sad. This thing, I think I got like three or four uses out of it and like I use a lot of it so you could probably stretch it to like six uses maybe um, but it's just only use it once a week so that if you're using it once a week that's like six weeks of product and it's only like 250 Canadian dollars, by the way. Canuck bucks. So this is kind of like a random product. Doesn't really fall under like beauty or anything. This is actually a toothpaste. I'd always use like Crest or Colgate or, you know, like popular toothpaste that you can just like go into Walmart and buy. And I couldn't find a toothpaste that, you know, didn't seem to irritate my mouth. I also had a lot of like peeling going on. It sounds absolutely disgusting and it was, it was really gross. Um, so I decided to switch to like an all natural toothpaste um, about a year ago, I think. And I had been using the Green Beaver toothpastes. They did have a mint one, but they always seem to be like out of stock when I went to buy it. It's also like an $8 tube of toothpaste. And I don't know about you, but I don't wanna pay $8 for a tube of toothpaste. Um, and these tubes, they're like tinier. They are not your, your average tube of toothpaste size. But the other day I was at, um, Rexall. I stumbled across um, this toothpaste. It's Tom's um, 
fluoride free natural toothpaste and it is spearmint flavored and like I love spearmint so that's what it looks like there the stuff was cheaper than what I was using before. If you want to go all natural, if you're into that kind of thing, or if you have the similar problem that I was having with like peeling and blisters and gross things happening in your mouth, give Tom's a try. Also got at Payless, a couple things from Payless here. Um, these shoes, they are super tacky gold loafers, um, but they're furry, they're furry inside. They're by Airwalk. They're not, they're not ideal for like when we get snow, obviously, because they're flats. Top of your foot is still exposed. I have one candle to show you. I think this candle is like, I don't know, like $17. $17 for a candle to me seems absolutely ridiculous, but I can't get over the smell of this candle. It is, oh my god, so good. Oh, but it smells so good. I can't even like describe to you what that smells like. The bottle smells so amazing, so amazing. So that's what it looks like. I think I got this at Rexall. It's um, a three wick candle. It comes with a cute little lid. So this is my holiday favorites, my Christmas favorites video. I do actually have like some Christmassy things to show you as well. So um, I collect salt and pepper shakers. I always wanted to start a collection, but I didn't really want to collect like coins or stamps. Most of them have just kind of been like gifted to me, uh, but I saw these at Target and they're super cute. It's Mr. and Mrs. Claus, Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. Just like salt and pepper shakers, holiday, obviously they're empty. I didn't just like put all salt and pepper all over my knees, um, but they're super cute. I think they're so holly jolly. Those are my salt and pepper shakers. It was gifted to me by one of my patients. Um, they're older, so I don't think they're watching YouTube, but if they do come across this video or if their kids come across this video, thank you for this cookie jar. It is super cute. Adorable. And then the last, but certainly not least, is my new stocking. It's a huge stocking. It's huge. It just keeps going and going and going. And it's wonderful. Got these neat little jingly bells. The aluminum ones to me, those little silver ones. They don't sound Christmassy. These ones, these ones sound Christmassy to me. I think it's so cute and it jingles. But anyway, um, those are my holiday favorites. I hope you liked my video. Whatever you are celebrating this time of year, I hope it is fabulous. Uh, I love you guys. Very Merry Christmas to you. Mwah.